in this video we are going to discuss about internet of things so internet of things that is nothing but which is a network which is used to connect some different physical devices or which is used to connect some home applications or which is used to make a communication between two electronic devices so when you are just going for IoT, IoT that is nothing but a network which is used to make a communication between the applications. So when you are just going for this IoT, IoT is nothing but it's an object which is used to be controlled the entire network based on some architects. So this Internet of Things is nothing but unique identified embedded computing devices within an existing internet infrastructure so simply telling iot that is nothing but which is used to make a communication between two different devices it may be an uh, electronic device or it may be a communication between a uh, electronical and mechanical device it may be anything so why we actually need internet of things when you are going for internet of things internet of things that is nothing but which is used to make more efficiency economy of value and which is going to increase the quality of our life so when you are going to get start with internet of things there is four different stages one is sensors and actuators the another one is data conversion the another one is pre-processing and the another one is data center or cloud this is an architect of iot so before we are starting with an iot we need to follow this architect so sensors sensors or actuators it may be in wired or it may be in wireless it may be anything so when you are going for sensors or actuators which is used to get an input from the environment so for this perspective we need a sensors or actuators so the next thing is uh, in the sensors and actuators you can able to give this electronics embedded devices as well so simply telling the stage one is nothing but the in entire part of this uh, embedded devices so the second stage that is nothing but internet gateways or data acquisition system so in this stage mostly what will happen which is used to make a communication between two internet devices so for example we have against one uh, device which is used to send an information to another device so for example we having a sensor which is nothing but temperature so the temperature sensor will observe the temperature around the environment and it will process in the embedded devices and it will send it to the data center or cloud okay so for this from the sensors we need to send the information to the cloud so this process from uh, getting input from the sensors to this data center or cloud we need to make some internet gateway so internet gateway it's not mention about only internet it may be any kind of connecting device it may be a bluetooth it may be a zigbee it may be anything so in iot actually the full form is internet of things but we can able to connect two devices with any connecting uh, gateways so it may be an internet it may be a bluetooth it may be a zigbee or it may be a gsm whatever itself so the next thing is hit when it comes to HIT, mostly the data is used to be processed. So when you are just getting a sensor details, the sensor details, it's collecting a data and it's actually processing the data and it's actually, uh, we need to analyze those data. It, it will collect the huge amount of data. Okay. So the huge amount of data needs to be pre-processed and needs to be analyzed. So the pre-processed and analyzed is what we are actually doing in HIT. So the stage four, which is nothing but a data center or cloud, actually what in the stage four it's used to perform is mostly saving the data to the cloud or it's going to monitor the data. It may be doing those kind of things. So stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. This four kind of architect we need to do when we are getting start with some IoT structure. 
So IoT, it's nothing but which is actually derived from embedded system. Embedded system means some hardware which will work based on the software commands. So in previous embedded system, we started for uh, controlling an hardware. So when it comes to this embedded system, it is actually giving a more power. So for example, uh, system is an embedded, mobile is an embedded system. So these are all some examples for embedded system. When it comes to IoT, when we are going to control the home applications like light, fan, that are not by using a mobile phone, that is the best example for IoT. So this IoT, that is nothing but which is actually derived from embedded system. So when you are going for embedded system, before we are starting with IoT, that we need to follow the basic architecture of embedded system. So when you are going for this, we are having an input. So the input may be in sensors or it may be a switch or keypad or timer. So we need some controller which is used to process the input and we need to give an output. So this output may be an actuators or it may be any kind of controllers or it may be any kind of notification stuff. Okay. And then we need to give a display unit. So when you are simply giving a display unit, it may be for the monitoring purpose. And if it's needed, we need to handle some uh, RFID or GSM, uh, this and all for the communication between two devices. So this is a basic embedded architect. So this basic embedded architect from this only, uh, it is actually derived for the state system or the IoT architect. So when you are simply going for this, uh, this device, embedded device, we have some basic ports like PIC, XOS, AVR, AR, and this and all the basic embedded boards. So when it comes to this uh, basic embedded boards, we are having an only microcontroller in, into this. So we can able to connect some basic peripherals and we can able to process the data and we can able to come ahead with those things. When you are simply going for a uh, digital to analog converter, those things and all won't be available when you are going for embedded boards. Embedded boards are something which is used to uh, process the information by using a microcontroller. It won't uh, convert digital to analog, analog to digital, those kind of things. And those embedded boards, that previous embedded boards that doesn't come with uh, this Bluetooth inbuilt or internet inbuilt, those kind of things, it's not come ahead with this previous embedded boards. And the previous embedded boards only support basic C, C++. It won't support any other programming language. And some boards which will support only the zeros and ones like microcontroller 8051 coding and all which is available. And those things are all really difficult to learn. So nowadays, people are not preferring the basic embedded boards. We are preferring a modern boots. So when you are going for IoT, mostly we need a modern boots. So when it comes to your modern boots, this and all some examples for modern boots like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, Banana Pi, Orange Pi, Onion Pi, Intel boots, Launchpad, this and all modern boots. So what is the difference between basic embedded boots and this modern boots? When we are simply going for this embedded boots, this uh, digital to analog converter or Bluetooth or GSM, everything we need to uh, connect with the extra peripheral devices, okay? But when you are going for a modern board, D2A, that's digital to analog converter and then Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, this and all inbuilt into the modern boards. So that is the reason we are preferring a modern board mostly for the internet of things. So when it comes to this much of modern boards, the most uh, used devices are Raspberry Pi and Intel boards. So when you are simply going for Arduino, Arduino is best for the beginners who are starting with the IoT, not for industrial purpose. The reason being is Arduino, it, it won't give that much efficiency. But Raspberry Pi is not best for an IoT and we can able to connect camera or uh, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and all inbuilt in Raspberry Pi. So the people who are going ahead with an IoT, those people will mostly prefer Raspberry Pi. So when you are going for some applications, we are having a lot of IoT applications. So for example, smart home, in agriculture, in supermarket, in smart grid, in IAOT. IAOT means inter industrial internet of things. And then we having a WOT, that's nothing but 
web publication of things okay so this wot it's nothing but mostly based on the web publication you are just going to control the entire stuff that's what your iot is so when it comes to home uh, we can able to control your uh, home application entirely by using some our phone and we can able to make a communication between your mobile and your car so these are all some examples for your smartphone so when it comes to the iot in previous they used to tell in the in industry plastic won't get place but nowadays everything is plastic nowadays people are telling even though we are just going ahead with iot iot can't able to make that much place this is what the people are uh, concerned us but actually we can able to expect iot to full fetch in market but we are having some limitation for example when we are having some this uh, light or fan we can able to control with the same router so when this router are getting extend this iot will get the entire full fetch system so we can able to connect with any router the particular device so this is what currently the iot based research every company they are doing so when it comes to this iot we can able to connect two devices with any gateway it, it is not only internet it may be in bluetooth it may be in zigbee it may be anything so simply iot definition that is nothing but come making a communication between two different devices that's what iot is so iot you will get a lot of uh, openings in future like mostly the product based companies that are all giving an uh, openings for iot 